Welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode and welcome my friends to a very surprising episode. So in a couple of seconds time, I'm going to show you a base, kind of like a troll base which I built, which has been defending in the Legends League and even got zero starred by the top player inside of War. That is going to be a very interesting episode coming up in a couple of moments guys, so please stay tuned. Just before we get into the live action, I would like to say a huge thank you. I have just got my gold play button for 1 million subscribers, guys. And we've just hit 1,375,000 subs on the channel. Now, obviously, to show my appreciation, guys, we're going to do a 1.4 million subscriber giveaway. There's going to be a Q&A, a face cam, and a giveaway in a couple of days' time. And we're going to give away dozens of gift cards for iTunes and Android. Now, if you want the chance to actually win a prize, guys, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Only subs will have the chance to win. Leave a like on the video to enter and show some support to the channel, guys. And let me know down below in that comment section, do you want an iTunes or do you want an Android gift card? What we're going to do, once we hit 1.4 million subs, we're going to come back onto this video during the Q&A, the face cam, and the giveaway. And I'm going to pick some random comments from this episode down below in the comment section. So let me know down below what gift card you want. Leave a like on the video and don't forget to sub to the channel. Stay tuned, guys. As soon as we hit 1.4 million subs, we are going to bring you the most awesome giveaway we have ever done. And don't forget, I'll also be showing you my actual, uh, my gold play button, guys. So that's going to be absolutely amazing. So check this out. Let's get ourselves into the episode. So if I go into the village edit mode, hit edit layout and hit the scout view, check out this base. So from a distance, it looks quite normal. It looks like, you know, a normal standard maxed out town hall 11 base. But if I zoom in, you can see there's not really anything surrounding the center. Now don't forget that's in scout view, guys. If I remove scout view, you can see the hidden Teslas and all the hidden traps. So this base has actually been active now for a couple of days and you are not going to believe some of the replays you are about to see from Legend League attackers that have failed on the base all the way up to the number one player in war. So we're going to get ourselves into some of these replays and we're going to see if this base actually works. So just a quick walkthrough of the actual base. You can see the Town Hall 11 is in the center. Every single side is symmetrical guys and on every side there are four layers of walls. Now there's actually no defenses between that wall and the closest wall apart from the traps and the hidden teslas which are obviously hidden from the attackers then on every corner we have a couple of defenses inside of those pockets guys so we're going to see what happens when a legend league player actually attacks this base guys will he defeat me will he lose let's find out and also check this out go into the wall log it's all green go into the most recent defense you can see the number one player got a zero star 48% which we're going to show you in a couple of seconds time so let me demonstrate some of these replays guys if you're town 08, 9, 10 even town hall 11 feel free to copy the base design and try it out for yourself so here we go first replay coming in now I haven't watched a single one of these defenses guys by the way the season reset about two days ago which is why I'm currently not in a league inside of this episode but the attacker is a legend league player you can see he's inside of the legends league and he's going to be using an air attack. As I said, I haven't seen a single one of these defenses. So let's see what actually happens. Here we go. A minion goes down, guys, just to clear those buildings. I'm guessing he's trying to get access into the Eagle Artillery nice and early. But at the end of the day, they all want to take out the Town Hall, guys. So let's see if anyone can actually grab my Town Hall. So there goes a couple of minions trying to clear for the, uh, the Eagle Artillery, as I said. I'm guessing he's also testing for air mines and air bombs, guys. Here we go, double big bomb, sorry, double bomb tower surrounding the Eagle Artillery. He hasn't dropped in any troops yet apart from a couple of minions. This is interesting. Check out the Dark Elixir as well, guys. Over 6,500 Dark Elixir available inside of the base. Now, let's wait for his main attack and see what happens. So he's dropped in a couple more minions down the bottom. He's actually got 22 minions and he's starting to drop in some archers as well now. But he hasn't actually sent in the main attack, guys, so he's taking his time. He is definitely taking his time. Here we go. More minions starting to come in. I'm guessing he's a little bit nervous maybe. I'm not really too sure. Let's actually... Let's see what happens. This is this is pretty weird. I'm not going to lie. So the Inferno Tower was protecting the Dark Elixir storage over there. Here we go. Hey, spells have been deployed. Minions have cleared the buildings. There go some balloons, guys. A lava hound on the left and the right hand side. Maybe sent in a little bit too early, guys. Hey, spells also used, in my opinion... 
way too early, but let's just see what happens and see what kind of damage this dude can do to the base. So here we go, no defenses in the center, means those balloons are gonna go around the entire outside of the base. Here we go, let's check it out guys, what's about to happen? Wizard Towers on the left and the right hand side are falling. Air defense is still standing though, and there goes the first Tesla Tower, and it's actually gonna take out nearly every single one of those minions and those lava pops in its area. Here go the other Tesla Towers guys, there go some air bombs now. Air mines and of course some skeleton traps set to air which are going to pick off those minions and those uh, those actual lava pups. And then they're going to go for the balloons which are still standing. So he's got a one star so far. And now I'm guessing he's going to try and take out the town hall. So can my Tesla Towers actually defend it? Let's find out and see what happens guys. Here we go. Wall breakers going to get through that first section. But look at that guys. There are still three more levels of walls to break through. The Teslas are going to go down, but then the Queen has decided to go around the outside, and that baby dragon, yeah, boom, gets taken out by some air mines and some air bombs. Also, actually, unlocks some more Larrys. Now, they're going to go and take out the Lava Pup before it kills my Barbarian King. He's still got the Grand Warden's ability left, and if he'd used that on the baby dragon, he would have actually got a two-star, I believe. But check it out, guys. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. The Queen, of course, she ain't going anywhere. She is not going anywhere. She's just going to consistently follow the buildings around. It's pretty much like a roundabout. There is no way to actually get access into the core unless you've got jump spells or loads of wall breakers, guys. So the first defense is over. Let's actually upgrade one of these walls and make our way into another Legend League defense. Let's see if someone can get a two star. So here we go, guys. Defense number two. Let me just pause it here. This time we're inside of the Legends League, and this dude is actually using no Barbarian King. I'm guessing he's maybe upgrading. He's Town Hall 11, though. Maxed out Baby Dragons, maxed out Grand Warden. 24 Baby Dragons in the army. Let's see what he can actually do. So the Eagle Artillery is going to go down pretty quick, but he's he's getting quite a lot of damage done to the, um, the Archer Queen there. So he used the Archer Queen to take out the Eagle Artillery. I'm not sure if that's the smartest thing. He could have actually used a couple of Baby Dragons. And he could have kept the Queen alive. Two Lightning Spells. Or one Lightning. No, two Lightning Spells and an Earthquake going down on an Air Defense. Which is really easy access. Some of these attack strategies are terrible. You have to remember guys, this dude. He's a Legend League player and he's using Lightning Spells. Like wasting them on those Air Defenses. I don't really know why he's doing that. But I'm guessing he's trying to get a 2 star guys. Nothing more than that. To be honest, he ain't going to get more than that anyway. Not with 24 baby dragons, guys. It's not possible. It is literally not possible. So here we go. A couple of baby dragons now going to go down on the left and the right hand side. He's going to try and take out that Inferno Tower. And I'm guessing use the Grand Warden's ability to save the dragons. Although he's not really used it at all, guys. But here we go. Baby dragons. They have a lot of hit points. And they are sustaining this damage pretty damn well. Barbarian King now getting targeted. And the rest of the baby dragons are going to make their way into the base. Can they get the Town Hall though? Let's find out. So he's got maybe 15, 20 dragons remaining. I'm not really too sure, guys. Some of them now making their way into the center. But wow, check it out. Sustaining mass damage there from air bombs and air mines. Most of the baby dragons got around. And here we go. This is where it gets awesome. Obviously, no one expects that amount of air mines and air bombs around a Town Hall, guys. But I've done it on purpose. It is literally one of the funniest troll bases you are going to find. Here come some more baby dragons. But they're going to get picked off. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Air Mine comes up. Doesn't manage to actually take that baby dragon out. Wow. So he's got two baby dragons on the town hall. And they're not actually going to take it out. How does that work? Let's find out what happens, guys. So the Tesla Tower. Going to take out baby dragon number one. This is going to be so close. There goes the first one. Second one's under rage now. But unfortunately, it is taken out by the Tesla. Just before it takes out the town hall. And of course, he's got nothing else in the range of the Town Hall. So this is pretty cool, guys. These baby dragons are awesome, but they didn't quite have what it takes to get a two-star on the base. So let's go quad speed here to actually finish off this Legend League raid. Now, don't forget, we are going to get ourselves into some live attacks, guys. There is going to be a second episode coming in a couple of hours' time as we start to push back up towards 6,000 trophies. Can we get there? I don't really know, guys. We've got a bigger season this time, so fingers crossed we can actually do it. Don't forget guys to actually subscribe to the channel. There is going to be an update hopefully coming out this month or at least sneak peeks this month before the update is released. So stay tuned. I will try and bring you as much coverage of the update as I can before it actually comes out. But for now, let's check that war attack guys. So details into the war log. 
Now, I haven't watched any of these replays, not a single one, so let's pause it there. It is their number one player. He's using three heroes, a golem, two golems actually, 30 bowlers, not sure what's inside of the CC, triple rage spell, double freezer jump, and a poison. Let's find out why he got a zero star on the base. So double golem goes down, he's got archers and wizards inside of the CC, and he's just spamming in his bowlers. Okay, yeah, you can see from here, I mean, this attack strategy is terrible, guys. And he's used all three heroes' abilities instantly. Wow. Okay, this dude does not know how to attack, guys. So check it out. Grand Warden's also set to air. What is going on? This is ridiculously just so messy. This is like one of the most messy attack strategies I've ever seen. There's only 45 seconds left in the raid already, guys. Bowlers on the right-hand side getting tormented by the Wizard Tower. So unfortunately, I just got a call there, guys, which is why I had to cut the video. But back into the defensive replay, you can see the rest of the troops just got melted. The Queen luckily kind of made it into the center. Didn't manage to take out that Tesla Tower, though, and the final bowler goes down, guys. A zero star, 48%, and that means we won the war, of course. So we're going to end this episode here. There will be another one in a couple of hours' time, so please make sure you stay tuned. You can see, guys, this base, you know, actually kind of works, and it's pretty damn good. One star, zero stars so far. Let's see if we can get three starred. If we can, I will be sure to bring you some replay. So stay tuned to the channel. I am about to start this trophy push off seriously, guys. Wish me good luck. Leave a like. Subscribe. I will see you shortly. Peace out.